The distribution app of a Casio FX8200AU can be used to perform a range of calculations involving normal distributions. One such calculation is the question posed here, which is, what is the proportion of heights that are greater than or equal to 181 centimetres if heights are distributed normally with a mean of 175.6 centimetres and a standard deviation of 6.35 centimetres, as they are for Australian males? From the home screen, arrow across twice and choose the distribution app by pressing execute. For this calculation, arrow down and choose the normal cumulative distribution or normal CD for short. First, enter the lower and upper bounds of the interval of interest. As this question asks for the interval of heights greater than 181 centimetres, the lower bound is 181. As for the upper bound, I will enter 1 by 10 to the power of 99, which is an easy way of entering a very large number, in place of infinity, for the calculations such as this one. Second, enter the population parameters. First mu, the population mean, of 175.6 centimetres. Then sigma, the population standard deviation of 6.35 centimetres. With these inputs entered, press execute once more to complete the calculation. This output, p equals 0 0.198 to three significant figures, is the proportion of Australian males taller than 181 centimetres, i.e. a little bit less than 20%. The distribution app of a Casio FX8200AU can be used to calculate the upper bound for a given proportion for any normal distribution. This is sometimes known as an inverse normal calculation. In this question, it can be used to find the upper boundary of the bottom 90% of heights, which is equivalent to finding the lower boundary of the top 10% of heights, which is what is called for here. To start, make your way to the distribution options. I'll use the back key a couple of times. Now arrow down until the hidden fifth option, inverse normal, is highlighted. First, enter the area for which we seek the upper boundary, the lower boundary being negative infinity. This area represents a proportion of a population, or a probability, depending on the question, and is entered as a value between 0 and 1, not as a percentage. Second, enter the population parameters as required. As I have just done a calculation involving the same values for mu and sigma, they are conveniently stored. If the stored values did not relate to the distribution I was working with, I would enter new ones by overtyping. As they are correct, then arrowing down to execute is all that is required. This output x inverse equals 183.7 indicates that the upper boundary of the shortest 90% of Australian males is 183.7 centimetres, which means that this is the height exceeded by the tallest 10%.